to get into our next ranking. Um, this is it's definitely the top three artists of all time. This could be my favorite artist of time. I always say it's J. Cole, but it could be this man. I know it's your favorite artist of all time, Mac Miller. Can you give me your top four Mac Miller albums? And I know my answer is literally dependent on the day, but I'm going to try to give what I think my general ranking is, but what is your ranking? It changes often because it literally changes with the seasons, like depending on my mood. But number one is Faces, hands down. It's, you know, like a perfect album. It's so raw. He it's produced amazing. a lot of the songs. Um, the the lyrics were much less about the fun he was having as, you know, a, a child celebrity that just became a huge star. It was more like the internal struggles he was facing every day. And it was weird. It was gritty. Uh, the features were incredible. He was having Schoolboy Q on the album just to chirp in the court. Like Miller, Miller, Mac. He was having Mac, so Miller, much fun, Mac. but you could also tell he was going through it. And I relate to that mm. heavy. Um, I, you know, there are days where I'm having so much fun making music, and there are days where it's fucking awful. And if I had a bad day, it shows my music, and it seems like you could tell everything he was feeling at the time. Yeah. Fucking love faces. Highly recommend listening front to back. And the bonus songs that just dropped are incredible too. Amazing. Number two, um, I'm gonna have to go. Good AM. It was. It's not a lot of people's favorite Mac Miller album. Um, it's his best I rap have. Thing. It's dude. It's like rapping, like lyrically. The the reason why I love it so much is because you could tell he was, you know, fighting for a spot as one of the biggest artists in the world like he wanted to have a successful radio album um yeah. just one that breaks into the top 40 and he did that he ended up having you know big hits Two on top it. songs yeah 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 but uh he wraps his ass off the songs are fucking incredible his hooks were great it just sounded very developed and as like a mac miller fan that's been listening to him forever like i, I listened to him for literally like 10 years at that point it was so cool to hear his maturity like it felt like the the pinnacle of mac yeah. And the songs were amazing. And then me and my friends got to see him live on that tour, which was super special. It was such a good fucking show. Um, first time I've ever been in the same room as Mac Miller. And it, bro, like Chief Key feature, are you kidding me? Crazy. <laughs> it's an ama amazing album. Um, three would have to be Kids. There's nothing like it. It's just mm -hmm. moment in time for me. I was... I heard it for the first time at summer camp. I was 12. So 12 or 13. I, I was super young when I heard it. Yeah. Super impressionable. It is the reason I started smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just thought he was like one of the coolest people ever. Yeah. Really, really fucked with the passion and the, the energy. Um, the imagery of just like, you know, it, it, it's a, it, it feels like a lightning in the bottle type album where it, it teleports you back to that that time you heard it for the first time. So mm -hmm. still in constant rotation and it's just nostalgic. It just feels like, yeah. um, you know, at camp hearing it for the first time every time. That's favorite song on it's uh, La La La, which they didn't end up putting on the album. It's probably sample clearance. But it's, dude, it, it just feels like a New York summer, even though it's definitely yeah. a Pittsburgh album. <laughs> It, I don't know. It, it's amazing. And then fourth, I'd have to say, watch movies with the sound off. Phenomenal. The reason why I don't put swimming and circles up there, even though they're, you know, tens in my opinion, are because I, I've had a lot of time to sit with the other albums. And yeah, understandable. You know, I, I grew up with them. They're super pivotal in my music career and just in my personal growth. But uh, I didn't listen to swimming for a full year and a half after it dropped because I was I didn't listen to it when it came out for some reason I listened to a couple songs um but I was kind of just like pigeonholed in a specific you know niche of music I was listening to at the time just never got around to it yeah uh but then he died and I was too sad to to listen to it understandable yeah, yeah. that was I, I know where I was when it happened and yeah and I didn't leave my room for like two weeks. It was yeah, cry, terrible. Cried to my mom. And now my mom's like, oh my God, I love that guy when I'm playing the NPR Tiny Desk. Yeah, and dude, my dad loves Mac Miller. Never never gave him the light of day when I was yeah. listening to him as a kid. But um, Mac is someone who's proven himself as an artist. It's He's not just yeah. He's not just a rapper. He's, he, I think he's the real deal. Like, besides Kanye and maybe Tyler now, 
I think he has like the best dis- current discography. Like I think his discography is insane. That everyone he doesn't has a really ranking. have a miss. It's he, in, like, he's just so consistent throughout his whole career. Um, I love Mac, man. I, I really a lot of people compare me to him. It's the biggest compliment ever. A lot of people, yeah, feel like I'm I'm purposely biting him and disrespecting his legacy by sounding similar. But That's you stupid. know, you hear my voice. It's we're dude, we're just two white Jews from Jewish a suburb guys. outside <laughs> of major city. Uh, and he is a huge influence of mine. I listen to his songs so much to the point where um, certain flows and, and rhyme schemes and, you know, like, it sticks with you. Like, every yeah. influence should. Um, but it's a huge compliment. I'm such a big Mac fan. Yeah, he's the, he's the GOAT. Um, my ranking quickly, my one, I'm going to go the poster behind me if you can see it. I'm going to go swimming. Uh, that was the hardest time in my life when that came out, and it was my favorite album, and it's remained... And thankfully, sometimes music, if you listen to it during a bad time, it's hard to revisit that album because like, it just yeah. brings you back to that time. Thankfully, it's standard the test of time for me. That, like I can still listen to it and not be like, oh, this is making me depressed. But swimming was just so important to me. Uh, number two, I'm going to go Faces. I think Faces is so influential in my rapping style. Like the ad libs I use, like F- Friends might be my favorite song on the album, which is so a weird good. choice because it's just like a seven minute him rapping. But I just like love the ad libs that are going on in the background, along with his like funny ass lines. I rapped over like so much. Diablo was like the third song I ever dropped was over Diablo, and the P- the beats are insane. The rap is insane. The features Vince Staples that song that might be the hardest beat ever. Uh, New faces, and that shit it's so good. Uh, number three. I mean, it's it's hard to fail when like your best friends are all the biggest artists in, yeah, in the, it helps. the rap. I mean, dude, like. Thundercat's a human cheat code. If you make music with Thundercat, it's automatically incredible. Um, you know, I, just, I, I met Thundercat a couple times out here, and how's that? He exudes this energy that I've never felt around <laughs> another human being. Like, th- there's something about him that j- just screams like classic musician. He's he's so yeah. cool, but like I said, human cheat code. He yeah. he's the, the best bassist alive. He's fucking incredible. I saw a story the other day that I didn't know that when Mac was filming his tiny desk that Thundercat was in like Japan or something or Mm -hmm. he was in Europe and like canceled a bunch of concerts just to do the video, which is just like such a cool story to hear. And like how, what a great moment. Like he's probably so thankful that he came home and did that. Friendship. Yeah, real friendship. That off the music industry, you hear about it not being always real people, but like that's, we could talk about Mac forever. I don't want this just to be Mac being a real person in the music industry was his downfall, unfortunately. He he put so many people on. Um, But number three, I'm going to go Good AM. I think that's his best, like, skill rapping. Like, he was just clean, and he was just... I was listening to the whole album today. Like, Break the Law when I'm in the gym. It's just, like, my favorite shit. Get, huh. I wake up with the taste of pussy. Um, and number four, this album is just my whole freshman year of college, especially when I was... um, Just my second semester, Circles, was just so... It's actually... I literally can't listen to it now because it reminds me of college, and I just graduated, and it makes me way too sad. I'm like, I can picture myself walking in the winter like to different like, seniors houses in the fraternity and I was like I, it's it's hard for me. Yeah, it's that that's a I mean the thing about Mac was he the, something about each one of his albums it's like a place in time. It's like yeah. It Circles came out, I sat with it for like a year and then it already felt nostalgic after a year. Yeah. Like it's it's ridiculous. He's super sad he's gone, but really glad that he was able to, you know, put out such a monumental discography in his time that he was here. Bro, he got famous when he was a junior in high school. Like, It's insane. The fact that he had that output and consistency his entire career is, like, he made, remarkable. He made Dang at 25? Like, how? What the f- how? Probably made Faces at... <laughs> at 22? 20, 21? 21 or 23. That makes me feel shitty. 